This problem is about evaluating limits by recognizing familiar patterns, specifically the difference quotient. Evaluate the limit, limit as x approaches 5, of x squared f of x minus 25 f of 5, all divided by x minus 5, in terms of f of 5 and f prime of 5. At first glance, this limit looks pretty crazy, but in fact, it's not as bad as it seems. Let's go look for a familiar pattern to help us out. There are two key features of this expression that will help us find a familiar pattern. The first feature is the combination of a limit as x approaches 5 and the expression x minus 5 in the denominator. The second key feature is the combination of a limit as x approaches 5 with the expression f of x minus f of 5. When the first feature and the second feature take place together, you should think of the difference quotient. That means for some function h, we're not sure what it will be, we're looking at the limit as x goes to 5 of h of x minus h of 5 divided by x minus 5. This limit evaluates to h prime of 5. Our plan is to now rewrite the expression inside the limit as the difference quotient for some function h. The question is, what should that function be? Our final goal is to rewrite the original limit as a limit in this form. Let's match up terms to try to identify what is the good choice for the function h. Looking at the first term, we see x squared times f of x should match up with h of x. Looking at the second term, we see 25 f of 5 should match up with h of 5. Therefore, our guess will be h of x is equal to x squared times f of x. Writing out the difference quotient for h exactly gives our original expression. Recognizing the pattern in the original limit tells us we can evaluate the original limit by evaluating the limit of the difference quotient of this function h. Therefore, because this limit equals the derivative of h at 5, we can answer the question by evaluating h prime of 5. Because h of x is equal to x squared times f of x, we need to use the product rule. The derivative of h will be the derivative of the first term times the second plus the first term times the derivative of the second. The derivatives are easy to evaluate. The derivative of the first term is simply the power rule. The derivative of the second term is simply the definition of the derivative. The derivative of f is f prime. Finally, to conclude our problem, we need to evaluate h prime at x equals 5. That is, 2 times 5 times f of 5 plus 5 squared times f prime of 5. That simplifies to 10 f of 5 plus 25 f prime of 5. And that's our final answer. Let's do a quick recap. The patterns in the original limit indicated that we were looking at the limit of a difference quotient. With the choice of h of x equals x squared times f of x, we saw that the original limit turned out to exactly be the expression for h prime of 5. We got our final answer by evaluating h prime of 5 using the product rule.